I met Scott 30 years ago. We've been married for 27 years. The day of Scott's accident changed his life and our lives forever. I got a phone call from the nurse in the emergency room. Scott had an accident at his workplace. I had fallen on something slippery and hit my head. I was found in the bathroom on the first floor of the office building. When I got to the emergency room, we kept giving them information, and I can tell the memories that I had of my previous life were leaving me. When I walked into the emergency room, he didn't know who I was, and he just had this blank stare on his face. He kind of looked at me as, who is this person? When I saw him, felt like, he wasn't there. He didn't know what marriage was. He didn't know what a wife was. He thought that my job was to be with him at the hospital. I lost my husband and he was sitting right there. He had no idea who I was. It was a death. After almost three years, I still don't know what I am and who I am. I still find it hard to believe, you know, my previous life that I, I played in the NFL, you know, played college football, was a pilot. It was very overwhelming. Words can't describe how it feels to know that your father doesn't know anything and anybody. Remember my fashion show at the technical school? I don't think he remembers this one. Mm -hmm. I like to tell my dad that his most important memories are yet to come. I didn't realize how precious life was until now. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I love them so much. After the accident, my life was completely turned upside down. I screamed and cried a lot in the car. Sometimes I'd cry in the shower because I didn't know what I was going to do. And it kind of came to the realization that Scott's memory loss could be permanent. I have a lot of bad days, but you know, I, I just try to get through. I want everyone to understand Scott not only lost his personal memories, he also lost all basic concepts like what love is, what time is. He had to relearn how to speak, read, and write. And Scott and Joan are here. Thank you so much for being here. And I, thank you. I think people in our audience are probably wondering, how does this happen? But we have some footage of your wedding day. And I want to show it to everyone because, Joan, I imagine this brings back a flood of memories for you. And Scott, I want you to watch this as well. OK. Just married. This was you know, supposed to be the happiest day of your life. Right. Does any of this? Ring a bell. Does any of it bring back memories? No, it, it doesn't bring back any memories, but you know, from an intellectual side, I can see that that is me at a much younger age, and that is Joan. So I, I see marriages on TV, and I know it's happy, but I, I, don't, I don't know what I felt that day. Was I, was I nervous? Did, you know, did my friends tell me to run? No. You know? <laughs> was, he was He hasn't lost his sense happy. of humor, <laughs> that's for sure. I still have the same friends. <laughs> but, you know, that, when, I, when I watch it, 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 it's such an empty feeling of uh, she knows exactly how she felt, mm -hmm. and, and I don't. And that is a difficult thing to live with every day. I can only imagine. Scott, when you were coming home from the hospital and you moved in with people that were complete strangers for you, mm. were you terrified? What did that even feel like? It, it was the most terrifying feeling, but it was the most lonely feeling. When, when we left the hospital, the world was coming at me at 500 miles an hour. Wow. I, I didn't know what a tree was, the sound of a car, the smell of exhaust, everything. It was the, the headache intensified so much by the time I got home that when I got home, I didn't know what my home was. I didn't know what a home was, let alone the house we've lived in for five years. Mm -hmm. That when I walked into the house, I, I said, where is that place I lay at? This is simplifying it, but in some ways, your mind is like that of a three-year-old in the sense of your memories. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I go through this, my wife tells me all the time, I'm still in my terrible twos. Because <laughs> I'm so much. And, and he plays that card every <laughs> once in a while, too. Yeah. As time goes on, I'm learning more independently. I challenge more. Where at first I took everything Joan and Taylor said, is this is the way life is. 